I received a lot of good comments and tips after I failed to machine this disc brake on my uh, 100 year old uh, little bench lathe. So I thought why not uh, try again while the lathe is still dirty. But uh, before I make the lathe even dirtier I want to do some testing first. Um, last week I noticed that the uh, torque compensation setting in the uh, frequency drive uh, defaulted back to zero. This time overnight it uh, changed the uh, compensation setting to 70 and this is the result a very rough running lathe and a frequency drive that uh, stops with an arrow 6 message press reset it runs for a while and then it kicks out with arrow 6 again that's at uh, 20 Hz uh, strangely enough, if you run the lathe faster, at 50 Hz, uh, it keeps running. This is uh, 40 Hz. I'm not sure if I should uh, run it faster. Hertz. and that's almost 500 rpm but as you can see it keeps running if I slow it down to 20 Hertz arrow 6 let's try again with the tour compensation set to uh, zero a lot less rumbling and it will keep running probably forever now I'm going to change the uh, torque uh, compensation setting to uh, 30 and that's 30 the sound uh, definitely changed and there is also a bit more uh, vibration but not really noticeable on the headstock but you can feel it really good if you put your hands on the uh, motor or uh, on the bench it uh, might be a good idea to beef up the uh, wooden bench a little alright next test Originally this was a uh, round leather belt uh, pulley and I machined it to fit a uh, V-belt. So let's have a look at it from a fixed camera position and uh, see if I did a good job. I'll slow it down a bit. As you can hear, the uh, vibration from the motors uh, is getting more pronounced as the speed comes down. The uh, belt is uh, vibrating up and down, but uh, I don't see uh, any problem with the uh, pulley. It also feels uh, fine. Let's have a look at the uh, small pulley. This one is a little harder to film as it uh, doesn't stick out uh, above the pulley. Motor gets a little warm. I don't see any significant run out. So I think the uh, pulleys uh, are okay, but I will probably order a new belt just to be sure. I'm not 100% confident 
that it isn't the uh, source of the problem. Here's the motor running at 8 Hz without the belt to uh, compare the uh, vibration. This is still with uh, the torque compensation setting uh, set to 30. I will now uh, increase the speed. It's a 10 Hz, 12 Hz, 13 Hz, 17, 20, 24, 21, 23, 24 again, 26, and all the way to 80. This is at 20 Hz and that's about the speed I need to run the lathe for machining the uh, disc brake. I'm now going to uh, set the torque compensation to zero. And that makes quite a difference. Just for uh, fun, let's set the uh, torque compensation to 75. Here we go. Aero 6. The uh, bearings on this motor uh, that I installed uh, in the previous video seem to be running a lot quieter than on the motor that was on the lathe. Although I'm not sure about this motor because it had that uh, one terminal uh, burned out. This here uh, is the motor that I was uh, running originally on this lathe. It's the exact same motor and they both uh, got new bearings about a year ago but uh, only this motor was used. And as you can see these uh, spin uh, not as freely as uh, the bearings on the other motor. They also make more noise. I will now uh, reinstall this motor and uh, see if it also uh, cuts out at uh, 20 Hz with an Aero 6 warning when uh, setting the torque compensation to 75. I hooked up the uh, power cable. Now let's see if uh, it also uh, cuts out with an Aero 6 at uh, 20 Hz. And it does. Well, at least it's uh, consistent, but uh, they might also be both a little dodgy, or maybe they are not uh, suitable for a VFD use. I don't know. I do wonder if a uh, factor controlled uh, VFD uh, might help uh, with this problem I got. Eighty hertz. Hardly any vibration. Well, I don't feel any vibration at all. And that was about 20 Hz again. The uh, fan guard is a bit loose. Feels okay, and I cannot uh, feel any play on the uh, bearings, so the uh, 
dimples I put into the uh, end cap uh, on the bearing seat they seem to hold up fine although I'm not sure if this is the best test possible the other motor feels the same by the way I found some scrap metal that I'm going to use to uh, beef up the uh, wooden bench uh, this used to be part of a uh, uh, plastic wrapping station and I have already used the legs for uh, some other project Good, it's done. Did you guys enjoy that? I love uh, showing off my hacksaw. Damn. A lot of uh, uh, cooling fluid ran out of the tube. That's made a bit of a mess on the floor. I did try to uh, put some extra bolts in the bench but I couldn't drill through the uh, cast iron legs using a uh, 8 mm drill bit it was uh, just too hard or uh, I wasn't strong enough using a pilot drill isn't really an option because it's not long enough and switching uh, to a smaller drill bit after the 8 mm hole was drilled makes uh, things hard to line up um, surprisingly I uh, didn't burn up any drill bits but uh, then again this is a, uh, a cobalt uh, drill bit so it uh, can take a bit more heat you're looking at the uh, underside of the uh, bench and as you can see I have installed the uh, metal uh, reinforcement the bench was uh, slightly sagging but uh, I uh, used plenty of screws and uh, I got it straight again and it looks and feels uh, okay now it uh, won't fix the problem but it uh, might help with the uh, symptoms also check out the hook I installed underneath the uh, uh, mounting plate for the motor um, I can use that to uh, hook up a bucket full of weight maybe that will help with the uh, vibration and as you can see I uh, also ran out of black paint so I gotta buy some more um, now I'm going to finish installing the motor and then it's uh, time for a test cut let's see if the uh, reinforcements I made have uh, helped this is a uh, 3 Hertz 5, 6, 8 whoa. 7, 8 look at the belt flapping around 10, 12 15, 17, no, oh, error 6. Um, oh, yeah, that's probably because uh, the compensation parameter is still set to uh, 75. Let's try again, this time with the uh, correct setting 3 hertz. It needs a little help to get moving. 6. Eight. Might be a bit better, hard to see. Twelve, seventeen and twenty. This is the speed I want to run the lathe when uh, turning the disc.
I can still feel a little bit of vibration, but uh, it actually might be a little less than before. So it looks like the uh, reinforcement of the bench wasn't a waste of time. It's probably a good thing anyway. This uh, bench was never meant to uh, house a motor. Let's speed it up to uh, 50 hertz just for fun. There's a bit more vibration at uh, 27 hertz. 40, 45, 50 hertz. Not too bad. Just way too fast to uh, turn a uh, brake disc. For my first test cut, I will be using the same setup as in the uh, previous video. So that's with uh, the round insert uh, tool bit. There's a one tenth of a millimeter wobble side to side in the disc. But I don't really care. This is just a test piece for uh, finding out if I can machine a disc brake on this lathe. It uh, won't be used again. Um, let's see if I can uh, turn it flat again. I will be running the lathe at 20 Hz. And that's almost 180 RPM. Um, according to the online uh, calculator on the uh, little machine shop uh, website, I should be running 10 inches of cast iron at uh, 157 RPM. But that's on the outside here, towards the uh, center. I can uh, run the lathe a little faster. Maybe something like uh, 250 RPM. But I'm not going to change it uh, while turning. Here we go. I can already hear it rumbling. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up. There you hear it. I set the uh, gap on the cross light to uh, tight. It's hard to turn. Alright, I will uh, take a few more passes uh, with the same tool bit, see if I can turn this flat again. And then I'll uh, continue with test 2. Um, so far, I don't think the uh, reinforcement of the bench has helped. Sounds like the insert might already be dull. I'll try it one more time, this time running the uh, frequency drive at 18 Hz. And that's 153 RPM. And I did uh, rotate the insert. Test number two. According to uh, some comments I uh, got on the previous video, wrapping a uh, bungee cord around the outside of the disc brake will help with the chatter. 
We'll see. I'm speeding up to 20 hertz again. Then we start the cut. Well, it is still rumbling. Now this uh, bungee cord that is normally used uh, to load stuff to the back of a bicycle is probably not the uh, most ideal uh, thing to use, but uh, it didn't help for me. I'll uh, take it off because I don't want this to come undone while turning. Alright, let's try a different insert. According to some people in the comments, this uh, round insert has uh, too much contact area and that might be the reason why I have so much uh, chatter problems. I was hoping it would uh, be perfect for a nice uh, surface finish but uh, let's try another tool bit. This tool uh, uses a uh, WNMG insert and uh, that has uh, six uh, pointy bits and that's uh, three times more than my uh, old 16 millimeter tool bit that uh, uses uh, CCMT inserts that are only usable on one side but I believe there are holders out there that uh, can use the uh, shallow uh, pointy bit this is a uh, second hand uh, tool bit and uh, the insert pocket is a little bit damaged it uh, probably took a hit at some point. It is uh, still usable, but uh, it might be the reason why my uh, inserts don't last very long. Uh, this new tool has a uh, carbide shim underneath the insert, and hopefully that will uh, protect the tool bit over time. The carbide shim is also uh, needed to uh, protect the tool bit from uh, the insert digging into the uh, softer metal. Um, because this insert is uh, double sided, the uh, tool bit has uh, some negative rake to allow for some uh, chip clearance. Unfortunately, negative rake also uh, needs more power and that's not something this lathe has a whole lot of. But uh, the raised edge on the insert here uh, might help a bit. Anyway, let's uh, try it out. A left hand tool bit would probably be easier to uh, clamp on this tool post, but um, it is what it is and uh, we'll try it this way. Still running at 20 Hz, dialing in a very light cut. The cut should get uh, deeper over there. was rumbling a little bit I think that was uh, working a bit better let's uh, dial in another uh, very light cut
that uh, was pretty good. I'll show you a close-up of the uh, surface finish. So here's what it uh, looks like now. Not too bad. Although, there's a bit of a high spot over here. I was probably running the uh, cross light too fast. So it uh, definitely looks like uh, the round insert was the problem. On the uh, return pass from the inside to the outside, I'm uh, cutting three times as deep. Uh, so far so good, but let's see if the uh, lathe can take it all the way to the uh, outer diameter. It made it. So it looks like the uh, tool pressure is uh, much lower on this uh, negative uh, rake uh, tool bit. I think uh, that little raised edge on the outside of the insert probably makes all the difference. I have ordered some round inserts from eBay that have a uh, little uh, raised edge. Maybe they uh, will work as well. but it will probably take a few weeks before they get here. Now I'm going to take a uh, very light cut at uh, 300 RPM and that's a lot faster than the uh, 157 RPM I should be running according to the uh, little machine shop uh, calculator. Wow, pretty smooth. I'm surprised that uh, the insert handles uh, a light cut like this uh, so well. I did feel a little uh, vibration in the uh, cross light uh, handle, but uh, I don't see any uh, chatter or vibration pattern in this uh, surface finish. There is some difference in the uh, surface but uh, that's probably because of the uh, speed I was uh, turning on the uh, cross light. I'm pretty happy with a result like this. That might already be too smooth. I was planning to do another test with the uh, tail stock and for that I uh, turned this uh, pressure plate but uh, the tail stock just cannot reach the uh, brake disc. For that I would need to uh, turn a uh, thicker uh, pressure plate but uh, I don't think uh, it will be needed because the result I get with this new tool bit is uh, pretty good. Besides, I don't have any stock that's uh, thick enough. So here I'm going to uh, stop uh, testing and uh, end this video. It uh, looks like I got some uh, cleaning up to do. Uh, till next time.